two, one, go! As the sandstorm period begins in this match, the Blue Darwin Alliance chooses to leave off one null hatch panel. That can be a two-point swing early here in this match. That panel coming on in on behalf of the Blue Alliance. It'll stick five more points for the Blue Alliance team as the sandstorm subsides. The Blue Alliance does earn the win coming out of the first 15 seconds of a the match. They have 28 points to 24. Team Rembrandt on the Blue Alliance. They are once again playing defense for Darwin. This time they are choosing to first stick to McQuanago Bears. They're scaling their way up a Red Alliance rocket. Their partners in red, Celtex from Hamilton, Ontario. They drop a hatch panel going up on level two of a Red Alliance rocket, but they collect cargo from the depot in front of their Alliance station. Drop it off for three more points for the Red Alliance. Blue here still with the lead by one point, just under a minute and a half remaining in the match. Rembrandt, while they play some defense, their alliance partners hard at work. Brighton Techno Dogs dropping off more and more cargo. That Blue Alliance cargo ship completely full. That means that Brighton is going to need to focus on a rocket. Their partners, Thunder Chickens, very, very quickly trying to drop off panels so that Brighton can follow up and drop in three points of cargo behind them. Just like in last match, Runnymede Robotics is playing defense. They stick tight to Thunder Chickens. If Thunder Chickens can't drop off panels, the three points of cargo will not be able to be supplied on behalf of Brighton. 40 seconds remaining in the match. Blue still holding on by one point. McQuanago Bears, they go for some cargo, accidentally throwing it across the field. Our end game warning sign sounds, and we are all tied up. 65 points apiece. Celtex is up three more points for the Red Alliance. First in the half, running need robotics. They need 12 points for Archimedes. Rembrandt needs to make their way back. 1310 is back in Hab level one. McQuanago might not be able to get the 12 points in Hab level three. We're in our final two, one. I want to know what you're thinking. There are some things you can't hide. I want to know. What you're feeling Tell me what's on your mind Ladies and gentlemen, let's check out that score. The winner is Darwin in blue, 96 to 78 in Einstein final two. All right, we are all tied up over on the FRC field. We are going to three as well. Darwin gets hotter and hotter every single match. Let's break it down. Dan, what'd you see? And obviously you gotta start with the end game. Um, a little bit of a mishap there for 1310 coming off level three. 5406, they're doing a really good job of almost making it up around the fallen robot. Um, and I think if you take those two missed climbs, we might have had a tie. Well, what I saw, 1310 running mead was playing good defense on the Thunder Chickens. Thunder Chickens were doing a little better. But then the Techno Dogs came over, they swapped sides, and I think the table started to turn. Maybe even without this tumble here for the Red Alliance. Blue might have pulled that one out, too, because Blue is coming back, and, and the, the Techno Dogs are just flying out there. They are fast. Yeah. Well, we've got a field-side interview with Janelle. Let's send it over to her. Janelle. 
Hey everyone, I'm here with Yosh, who just won on the Blue Alliance, tying this up, giving us a rubber match. How does it feel? Yeah, really good. I hope we can do it again and uh, get the title. And so this is the first time your team has been on Einstein, right? Yeah. I know I'm from, I'm from the Atlantic Regional, you've been there as well. How does it feel for your team to now be here on the big stage? Insane. It's like crazy as hell. <laughs> yeah. Did you change your strategy at all in this last match? Nah, we did uh, what we needed to do and uh, we completed it. So yeah, we did, we did really good. And you know what, that's all you need to do. Do what you can do and do it the best that you can. Thank you so much for talking to me. We are looking forward to this next match. We'll throw it back to the sports desk.